Testament Gentiles are Israelite foreigners slash Gentiles. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbi Chakwadash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth. Seek honor to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the sister men and women in the church, and the Duke of the one third. And to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth, Shalom. <clears throat> Here we go again, once again, with these modern-day Christians trying to graft in heathens into um, the promise, the covenant of the Hebrew Israelites. You have to remember, a heathen is anyone that's not of the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A Gentile, on the other hand, is also anyone that's not of the lineage of um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or an Israelite who doesn't um comply or doesn't keep their customs which will make the so-called negro latinos and native americans gentiles because a gentile is pretty much just a foreigner right so going to the bible this is jeremiah 17 and 5 thus say of the lord i'm sorry 17 and 4 forgive me and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right? And what and what is the discontinuation? Keeping the Passover. Keeping the Purim. Okay? Abstaining from eating swine and catfish. Not celebrating Christmas and your birthday and Thanksgiving. Okay? Keeping the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Day of Atonement. Giving all underglow and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Now not carrying a cross around our necks, not having tattoos on our body, our women not wearing weave, all right, our men not sleeping with their brother's wife, and women not being harlots. Those are things that goes back to the heritage of the Hebrew Israelites, because we are a nation of people that set apart from other nations because of the law, statutes, and commandments that was given unto us. That's what the word holy stands for. The word holy means to be separated, right? Continuing on in Jeremiah 17 and 4. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. That goes right back to what? Being here in America. We're the only nation of people, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, granted, the Native Americans and the Spanish-speaking tribes were already over here. But they didn't come to this side of the earth, the Western Hemisphere, the Western Hemisphere, to after Around 722 B.C. when King Shalmaneser took them halfway across the world. It tells you that in 2nd Edges, the 13th chapter. So technically, the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are not in their respective land, which would be Israel, right? And we are serving our enemies in this land because from 1492 up until now, the so-called white man, woman, and child, who will be called Caucasians today, but to be politically correct, but according to the Bible, are um, Edomites, descendants of Esau they have not been treating us well I mean you can you, you can have your anecdotal experiences but as a whole as a collective even those who are very nice and kind to you they're able to walk this earth in safety because of what their forefathers have done to our forefathers right something called white privilege that's another story <clears throat> for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever Right, because we went against our power, these curses fell upon us. Read Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter. Now, to go into um a little history here, which is also in the Bible, this is why they took the apocrypha out of the Bible. The apocrypha correlates with secular history, right? Now this is first Maccabees, the first chapter in the apocrypha, which is a part of the sixteen eleven King James Version Bible. Okay. First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus, Antiochus the Epiphanes the Fourth, okay, wrote to the, his whole kingdom that all should be one people. It's like here in America, right? And everyone should leave his laws. See, this was a curse. Alright? So, in other words, you're not going to keep your customs. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a very big thing of ours, right? 
For the king has sent letters by messengers into Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Like here in America, the strange laws of the land. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation to the end they might forget the law and change all the ordinances and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king he said he should die so when the Lord said in Jeremiah 17 and 4 thou even thyself shalt discontinue this is the prime example this was the falling away first of the of the Israelites. Like Paul said, there had to be a falling away first of the Israelites not keeping their custom. Now, we've been under captivity, okay? Under the Assyrians, the Medes, the Persians, even the Egyptians. And out of all of those heathen nations, we always knew who we were. But when Esau, Edom, the Greco Roman Empire, had us in captivity, that was the one nation that told us to forget everything. So now we are what? Foreign to our own customs. That's why the Gentiles in the New Testament will be who? Israelites who were forced to not keep their customs. Okay? Now all of this is pretty much, I know it's um rhetorical. We keep repeating the same thing. But it's one thing about the truth. The truth never changes. The truth is a very stubborn thing and it shall never be moved. Okay, it's only when those come with lies they want to move the truth and they get moved. Okay, they get they get hurt spiritually. This is um Ephesians chapter two, verse eleven. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are all who are called uncircumcised, meaning you had no idea who you were. Like I was before I came into the truth. By that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Now that's a physical circumcision, right? Because remember if you read Acts the 6th chapter, six chapter, if I'm not mistaken. When they were, you had the Jews arguing that they were bringing in Gentiles into the temple. Because some of those Gentiles, well not some. The Gentiles that were referring to were Israelites who weren't circumcised. Okay, that's a custom the Lord, that's a covenant the Lord made with Abraham for us to be circumcised. A covenant with Abraham and any male in his household. Okay. Continuing. Verse 12. But at that time you were without Mashiach. Being aliens. From the commonwealth of Israel. What's the commonwealth? Our heritage. Matter of fact. And even though we know it's wrong. What would they call a, a so-called Mexican or Ecuadorian or Colombian that crossed the border and don't have papers? They would call them what? An illegal alien. A foreigner. So we were aliens to our custom. Foreign to it. Why? Because of the curses. So we, so we became gen Israelite uh, uh, foreigners. Okay? And strangers from the covenants of promise. The covenant was only given to Israel, not to all nations. Malachi 3 and 6, the Lord said, I am, um, he said, he said, I am the Lord, I change not. The Lord did not change his mind on, you know what? I'm going to bring some, uh, I'm going to bring some heathens up in here. No, you, no. The Lord didn't say that, man. Okay. Having no hope and without God in the world. And without God in the world. And without God in the world. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is Joel chapter 2. Spirit is on right now. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. None else. Okay? And my people shall never be ashamed. He didn't say all people. He said, and my people shall never be ashamed. So the Israelite foreigners 
so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Gentiles the New Testament is talking about, man. And you can't get around it. You can't. <clears throat> this is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Who is his brethren? He's talking to the Israelites. His brethren, the Israelites, who we were carried away unto these dumb idols. Didn't I just read in 1 Maccabees, right? When it spoke of how we had to sacrifice unto idols, swine's flesh on a freaking altar. Stop playing, vocab. Stop playing, you modern day Christians. Salvation is only for the Israelites. Even Yahweh Shai said that in John the fourth chapter. Salvation is of the Jews. Pretty much all the Israelites. And now, going back to who, who his brethren is, or are, I should say, because that's plural, brethren. Brethren, right? This is Romans chapter 9. I'm going to close out. I just want to touch on this really quick. Romans 9 and 4. Matter of fact, let me say that. 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Like I said, Israelite is anyone that's descended from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Going back to the 12 tribes, right? Who are Israelites? Whoa, 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 whoa. So who is he referring to in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the first and second verse, we said, brethren, be not ignorant. You were once Gentiles in the flesh. Who? Israelites. To whom pertaineth the adoption, read um, Hosea 1 and 10, and the glory, and the covenants, so what, Psalms 50 and 5? And the giving of the law, well, Moses was at Mount Sinai, right? Well, who? The Israelites. And the service of God and the promises. Woo! Whose are the fathers and of whom are concerning the flesh? Mashiach came, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. It said who? Mashiach came. Who, so, who did, so who did the Messiah come for? Who did Yahawashai come for? Hmm? Matthew chapter 15 Verse 22. And behold, now this is another lesson, but I'm going to get some mistakes to the point. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. Now here comes the focal point of this passage. But he answered and said, in red letters, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Stop playing. So with that being said, I pray I was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quam Allah. Bafla Babal. Shalom.